morning. I look a hot mess. It is Saturday, June 23rd, and it's like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. My normal waking up time. I just fed all the cats. There was a little squabble, as usual. And I just looked up and I saw this. What better way to wake What better way to start the morning than to see this? Look at that beautiful rainbow. Oh my goodness, it just goes on forever. Look. Isn't that awesome? Oh. So pretty. And then looking out over the yard. It's just peaceful. It's just so calm out here. You can hear the birds. There's a rooster. It's just so nice. And I cannot be... Isn't this gorgeous? I cannot even begin to tell you the amazing feeling of being done. Done with my classroom. It's just, it hasn't even really sunk in completely yet. I came home so tired last night, but also just feeling so accomplished. Of course, there are all kinds of other little things I could do. Isn't there always something we can do? <laughs> but I am done. I feel good about leaving it in that condition. It's in great shape. It's just... <sighs> now I'm going to go enjoy my tea. Probably pop on and watch some of my favorite YouTube people. Maybe watch some Netflix. There was a new show that just aired this past week on ABC called Take Two. And it's got the girl that was in... Heart of Dixie, she played Zoe Hart, the doctor, and I can't think of her name to save my life, but it looks really cute, and I actually started watching it last night, and then we ended up watching a movie instead, but it looked really cute, so I want to see that too, plus Jurassic World 2 is out, and I so want to see that, we are big Jurassic Park fans, we have all of the movies, so as soon as that one comes out, that will be added to our collection. We like to do movie marathons every once in a while. And so that is one of the series that we like to watch. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy a relaxing, leisurely, PJ-filled morning with my favorite tea and my favorite kitties and my favorite people. I will talk to you later. Today's Saturday Spotlight is Tracy of Tracy's Primary Pandemonium. As you can see, she's a teacher in Australia. She's a primary teacher and she is just very warm and sweet and caring and she's like my twin. <laughs> we grew up on opposite sides of the world, but we have so much in common. It's, it's amazing. She is just very fun to listen to. She has great ideas. She has a beautiful family, and if you have not checked her out, you really should. You are missing out, so check out her link below, Tracy's Primary Pandemonium. Good evening. We are headed to my mother-in-law's for a fun-filled evening of food and games, and this road is very bumpy. Back to you, Dave. Back to you, Dave Jr. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't have anything to do. Ow. Oh! oh! Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to nice. play if you had to play this. <laughs> what in the world is with that? Well, Hello. I saw, I saw a color in my head. My house, my rules. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. We are back home after a very fun-filled night of losing a lot of games <laughs> for me. I think I won three rounds of Uno. I don't think I ever won Skip Bow. Didn't win Aggravation, but that's okay. And I don't think I showed you this little lovely gem. Check this out. Caitlin found this little cutie by one of the cars the other day. Look at that. Weenie, weenie. Really we think the baby was not even a day old. Just laying by one of the cars in the driveway, all wet from the rain, and very, very sad and squawky. Poor little baby. Look, look at that little face. Yeah. Still has his little umbilical cord. Yeah. It's going away. Okay. Well, it's 10 15, so we're gonna. We're going to head off to bed now, and tomorrow's my husband's birthday, so we're going to celebrate that. So I'll see you later. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is my husband's birthday today, but as usual, as usual, I am up way before anyone else, so I thought I would hop on the computer and just make some things for my classroom because apparently I just can't stop. So I've added to my little three drawer labels. I thought instead of having those trays by the door in my classroom, I have so many of those little drawer units that I brought home because I had used them for centers before and I'm not going to be doing the same thing in second grade. So I thought, hey, why don't I repurpose them? It'll get them out of my house and it will help me stay more organized in my classroom. Yay. And also clear out the clutter. So instead of having piles of papers in two little trays, the students can put their papers inside these drawers. And the really cool thing about these drawers is that you can completely remove them from the unit and I can take them to my desk to check through the work. So I think this is going to be really great. So I've got this page that will replace the turn in tray. I've got this one that will hold things that were going in the other turn-in tray. And then I decided, yeah, since I was going label crazy, you might as well go all out, go big or go home, right? So I'm going to label all of those little drawer units that I put up in that cabinet that I had cleaned out that has all my paper in it. So those will be all labeled too. I also thought I might organize that cabinet behind my desk and put like my kind of lunch supplies in there, the ones that I use personally. Then I thought instead of using those black drawer units that I had over by the writing area, I might actually take two of these little units that I've been using and label the drawers so the kids can find the special paper that they're going to use when they write. So that's what I've been working on today. I am back at it making more things. So I like the way these look so well that I thought I might change up my class jobs chart because honestly, I've basically had the same job chart for 10 years and I kind of want to switch it up for second grade. I kind of want to make everything basically familiar with the twist for second grade so that it's new for me and new for some of the kids that might be in my class that were in there before. So I have changed up some of the jobs. It's basically the same ones I had before, but I changed the names a little bit. So like the VIP is the very important pineapple. That's our terrific kid or our student of the week, the pineapple of the week. So that'll be the first one. And then hospitality is going to be like the supply clerk. Like they'll be the person that helps the VIP pass papers out, run errands, tidy things up. I'm also going to assign more responsibilities to the second graders this year because why have I been killing myself all these years when the kids can do some of the work for me? Like passing papers back to their cubbies? Yeah, kids can do that, especially if the students are trained to put their student number on everything. Then it is very easy to pass them back because even if you cannot read their name, you should be able to read their number. So you can see my jobs here. The electrician is my ender and they are the ones that turn off the lights when we leave our classroom because 
you do not need to leave your classroom lights on all day long. That is a total power waste. And I want my kids to learn to be responsible with their resources. The chef is responsible for calling people up to the snack table to get their snacks and making sure everyone is served. And the substitute, obviously, is someone that takes someone's job if they're not there to do it. The librarian is responsible for keeping the library neat and tidy, making sure the books are put back correctly. Girls and boys restroom inspectors are the ones that stay in the restroom when we take a group break. And they are the only ones that are allowed to tell me if someone was having trouble in the bathroom because I do not want 10 tattletales coming out and going, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did this. Only the restroom inspector assigned for that week is allowed to like, kind of like be the official tattler of the bathroom. They also kind of make sure the students are kind of quiet and that they throw their paper towels away and don't leave the bathroom a mess. The custodian is responsible for checking our classroom at the end of the day when we've already done our cleanup crew and making sure no one left anything on the floor that shouldn't be there. I'm going to have a girl and a boy custodian. That way they all get a chance to do it equally and they will make sure that the chairs are put up at the end of the day since I only have 10 chairs. It's not going to be that hard. It's not a whole class set of chairs since I do flexible seating. My next little section here, I had extras and so I thought, hey, why don't I just make little tags so I can clip them onto my papers that I want to be copied because it is possible that I may have a volunteer this year that may want to help me with things like that. So then I can kind of organize my paper piles into the correct stacks and label them. These I made to go on those clips that I put on my bulletin board in the hallway to hold student work. I think these will be so cute and I think they're going to be the right size for the clips. I will check and show you as soon as I grab my clip because I got one and took it home with me because I was thinking. So I made enough for 24. Holy cow, I hope I don't have that many kids. I hope I just have 21 max <laughs> but I also went ahead and took out the rest of them with copy and file because goodness knows we're gonna have lots of copy and file piles <laughs> I think Sleeping Beauty might be stirring look at that oh peeking at her head she's only about three days old maybe four. Oh, looks like she's gonna go back to sleep I'm babysitting right now so Caitlin can get some sleep because just like a human baby Little baby kitties need to be fed every few hours too, round the clock. They don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning, they want food. Here's my husband's awesome birthday cake. It's a jello poke cake with a cool whip topping. Yum!